Hi, my name is Keith Cooper and in this short video I'm going to have a look at the front feed option for the Epson P700. So it's similar for the P900 as well. In particular I'm going to look at the no eject roller setting. Now um, this is potentially useful if you have a printer and you're using a paper that shows very faint pin marks from output guide on the paper. Um, it only happens with some papers and it varies from printer to printer as to how much it's visible. With this particular one I've never noticed a problem with it but because of the close tolerances in how things work and different papers that people use sometimes people can notice and as I say on high gloss papers very faint little pizza wheel marks uh, which they're sometimes called. But anyway this is a paper feed mode of the printer that's uh, a new one for, for this. Uh, the pizza wheel mark issue has been something I've read about on forums for years. I've seen it on one or two media, very glossy media and printers in the past and there just wasn't much you could do about it. Here Epson give you an option which may fix it. Now I can't say this for every paper but we'll try it with this one and I'll just see how it looks. I'm going to be printing a standard test image here. It's one of my standard test images I use. It's got lots of colours and things in it. It prints very well. I've opened it in Photoshop, but I've transferred it here to Epson Print Layout. Now, the settings, um, I'm using Epson Print Layout because it's the same with a Windows or on a Mac. I'm driving it from my uh, MacBook Pro. Um, if you had a Windows system, it would be the same as well. Uh, it's likewise if you were to drive it from Lightroom or Photoshop. The options are there. It's just easier for me to show it and it makes it easier for people to follow. But anyway, there's the image. Now, I've set this as it stands at the moment uh, to... Uh, Epson Premium Luster, that's this paper which I've got here, which I've been using for some testing. A4 size, standard size, and I've got Paper Source Standard. Now, that would be if I just loaded it in the back now. That's normally how I print almost everything. And certainly with this paper, um, I would normally feed it in at that slot at the back there. However, the printer has an option for front feed. Now, you can use that for thicker fine art papers, although I'd notice no, that a lot of Thick fine art papers I've tested work perfectly well through the back here. They don't need it. You could also print on poster board, and I've shown printing on poster board. One thing I would remember to say note is that if you load paper via the front here, it goes on a straight through path through the printer and it comes out the back. So that means if you want to use that particular setting, make sure there's a space behind your printer because otherwise when the paper comes out, it's going to hit the wall. Now, not a problem as I've got it set up here on A4, but certainly if I had an A3 Plus sheet on this or I had a P900 and an A2 sheet, you need to have quite a bit of space at the back of the printer to allow for the paper to come out and then come back through again. But anyway, I'm going to change this setting here from the paper source standard to, and there's quite a lot of them here, to front, no eject roller, brackets, glossy paper. You'll notice the image has got smaller. One of the uh, reasons that uh, the various rollers and things are present in the printer is to allow things like borderless printing. Um, fine if I have a roller at the back that feeds the paper through there becomes a certain point where the paper has left that roller but I still need to print the edge of the paper that's where the front roller will draw things through if you just use the rear roller you're limited to the amount of coverage and in fact you can see it on here there is an enforced two centimeter margin now if you want a bigger picture you need bigger paper. You still get the two centimetre margin, but obviously proportionally it's less. Um, that's only on this particular setting. It doesn't cover on any other, you can print borderless on lots of other different settings. But on this one, if I'm gonna use this setting, I need to set it up to use this. Now, I've pulled out the front feed here. I let the printer just wake up and realize what's happening. There we go. The options here for feeding via the front are poster board, fine art thick, the disc tray, which is for printing on discs, which is an actual feed tray, cover that in the review for, for this, and no eject roller glossy paper, that's the setting down the bottom here. 
So I'm going to put that one there. So select the option to avoid roller marks. Um, and it mentions the border again. But anyway, we're going to go, uh, it says don't, if you've set this mode, don't try putting thick paper through because it will have moved internal elements and it won't like it. But anyway, we're going to go OK with that. Um, I've set the guide rails here width-wise to about, there's a setting for A4. We'll load that through and I push that in till there's a little mark on the plastic here, which is the alignment mark. Now the paper, you don't need to be massively precise over this because the paper will come through, it will detect the edge, it will move it back towards, and it will line itself up. But it does help if you make sure that's okay there. Don't squeeze the paper, just make sure the paper moves in freely. There it is, we'll put complete. There we go, I've loaded the paper. And just see what happens now. Now I have to set the paper, you don't have to set the paper type. I make a point of setting a paper type on the printer and here as much as anything just to mentally double check that I've got everything right. Saves wasting a lot of paper. It does for me because I swap papers and printers quite often. So paper type, it is not premium glossy. Uh, let's go for more paper types. It's a photo paper. Notice only photo papers are available and it is premium luster. Size, it says A3+, plus. no it's not, it's A4, there we go. We've set that front paper feed, no eject roller glossy, it's set premium luster A4, so we'll just OK that, and it's load, gonna load the paper. Now, I know some people say don't bother with the, the settings here and that. Um, it's a minimal effort to do, and it will remember settings, so you don't have to, if I'm printing a stack of these, I don't have to enter it every time. It's just worth actually matching. It's so drawn the paper in, the paper is inside, and I can see the paper is lined up ready to print. And also, looking at the back, the paper is just coming out at the back of the printer. So there we go, I've got this all set up. Um, the colour profile I'm printing with, I'm just using the Epson default, Epson's own premium luster profile for it. It prints just fine with this. It's a quite a reasonable profile. And we'll just go print. Send to print data. It's quite a large image. It should be here in a minute. And here we are. It's printing. As an aside, I noticed that it's telling me that the grey ink is low. Um, that's to be expected. This is a relatively new printer I've set up uh, for this particular testing I'm doing. Uh, the first ink to run out was the light grey and next grey. Following that, the light cyan and vivid light magenta are going to be the next ones to run out. You can print on the low ink warnings for quite a while. It's only when it tells you there may not be enough ink that you know there may not be enough ink. You can usually get a few more prints out of it, but there does come a point where it will go, no, I'm out of ink, and it is genuinely out of ink, and it will be time to change one of the cartridges. One of the things I can note here, in looking through here, is that the pinwheels are not touching the paper. Paper may remain in the printer, touch OK, check paper slot, and remove the paper. That's because the final feed that throws the paper out here is those pinwheels which have been lifted up out of the way. So here we are. We have... That's okay, there we go. And there is the print. See, a little bit more um, awkward to use. The paper doesn't come out here. I put the tray out here just to catch things. You don't need to. There's the test print, it looks fine. And if the, the test for the roller marks is to look at a glancing angle on the paper and there is not a mark to be seen. So there we are. Um, that's how to use the uh, no eject roller setting. Uh, I hope that's of some help. I say there are a few media that show it. Um, sometimes things like glossy film does as well and ultra glossy media. Anyway, I hope that's been of use. Um, have a look at some of the other videos. I've got lots of videos covering this printer and other printers and general info about printing. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel if you find it interesting and um, thank you very much.